LAPD Chief of Police Designate Charlie Beck. First of all, uh, let me thank everybody in this room. Uh, I consider uh, uh, anybody that is uh, opposed to gun violence and wants to uh, limit the number of guns and their availability in our society as my partner. I'm the, uh, it's all right. <clears throat> my, uh, my current job, and uh, if, I'm, if I'm approved by the council next week, I'll change jobs, but my current job is Chief of Detectives for the Los Angeles Police Department. And I've been uh, in and around gun violence and gangs for the, for the past 32 years. Um, I have probably, well, not probably, I did the math. I've been to over a thousand homicide scenes and, and uh, almost 90% of those are caused by handguns. So I've looked at uh, a thousand families, uh, a thousand sons, uh, a thousand groups of friends that have been impacted by gun violence, and, and it's really time for that to stop. We have a unit in the Los Angeles Police Department that is responsible um, for gun uh, regulation in the city. And just to, to give you an idea of what a good job they do, the, uh, the, uh, the bill, AB 962, which went statewide, well, we've had that for about four years, and that's because of these men and women that are gonna come up here. They were the ones that went to legislature, they were the ones that helped the crafting of the bill, and more importantly, they're the ones that enforce its, its uh, contents. So, City of Los Angeles is pretty big. Four million people, 400 and, almost 400 square miles. So how many, how many uh, registered gun dealers do you think it has? Anybody? Nobody from that table, you guys know. Well, I'm going to tell you the number in a second, but the reason this number is, is where, what it is is because of the efforts of these men and women. They regulate licensed gun dealers. We have the, the, some of the toughest uh, regulations uh, in the country, and they make sure they're followed. And because of that, in this giant city with a huge population, we have 17 gun dealers. Now. <laughs> <clears throat> There's a gas station in Arizona that has that many. So. Uh, they, they also uh, do the uh, concealed weapon permits for the, for the city of Los Angeles. So how many think there are of those? 23. <clears throat> the, the point being, and all these, I mean, okay, gun dealers are legal. Carry permits are legal when done correctly. There's needs for both, but they need to be regulated. They need to be controlled, and they need people that are serious about doing it, and people that understand the, um, the consequences of proper action. We did a, I forced them to do a gun buyback, first one we'd done. In, uh, in six hours, and, and these, 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 these poor uh, police officers and detectives, they, they had to catalog all of these, take them, we took them, got them all melted down. In four hours, we got 1,700 guns. And we melted them all down, and they're all sitting on my desk in a big lump of metal. Uh, not all of them, but a few of them. J just some in incredibly creative, progressive, well-thinking, and, and I know that those words don't always go in your mind with the Los Angeles Police Department, but I'm trying to change that. So I want you to, uh, to open up your minds a little bit and think of us a little different because we are a little different than the stereotype. So anyway, I'm going to bring them up here. They're getting an award, and they deserve it. And a lot of times people like me or, or other folks get awards that we're not sure why we got them, but, but these folks deserve this. And it's the gun unit. I'm going to have uh, Captain Justin Eisenberg and uh, Lieutenant Ron Dickerson bring them up, and then I'm going to give them the trophy. The James Brady Law Enforcement Award.